Why would a remote ranch up in Death Valley attract the interest of forensic investigators? Ghost hunters, people that claim psychic abilities. Could it be the nine murders connected to the spot? The tales of undiscovered bodies? Or the fact that Charles Manson was captured there? Any way you rock it, it's Barker Ranch. The open desert, with its vast spaces and remoteness, alarms some people. It makes them uneasy. It's like being on the ocean with no sight of shore. Now, I personally find it soothing and spiritually refreshing, but many do not. When evil takes place, does it leave its mark on a location? Some people will tell you yes. Others say it's impossible. But up in Death Valley, we've had reports. In 1971, when Charles Manson and his hippie family of killers were convicted and sentenced to life in prison for cruelly murdering nine people in and around Los Angeles, many people thought the story and tally of victims ended there. But up in Death Valley, at a remote spot called the Barker Ranch, others aren't so sure. Buffeted by desert winds and scorched by the sun and numerous fires, today the ranch lies in ruins. But it's here where our story begins. You see, many people believe that the list of Manson's victims was larger than he is credited with. And over the years, the tales have grown into more than an urban legend. Some people say buried at the ranch are the victims of drug deals gone bad, or the graves of disgruntled family members who argued with Manson over his bizarre rantings and perverse sexual demands. One of the weirder stories is that Manson's family, like all good hippies in the 1960s, favored the Volkswagen bus as a mode of transport, and that the maniacal leader would send his female devotees into nearby small towns to act as prostitutes, there to lure lonely male owners of the coveted VWs back to the ranch, where they would be killed and buried in secret. Whatever the truth, Enough concerns had reached the authorities that in 2008, a team of forensic investigators and cadaver dogs descended on the ranch to search for buried bodies. After a search hampered by the fact they were only allowed to dig to the depth of four feet, the search was called off without any additional murder victims being found. The official forensic case had gone cold. Well, so much for the official side of the investigation, but what about the spiritual, the paranormal? Well, people that claim psychic abilities along with ghost hunters have visited Barker Ranch and the stories they tell are quite different. Some say they have encountered orbs or the ghostly visitations of troubled spirits, while others have reported seeing shadowy figures darting among the ruins at night. Many people claim the entire place has an overriding sense of despair and loneliness. Are these the restless spirits of Manson's other victims? Lost souls crying out for justice by haunting the ranch until someone comes along and finally exposes their hidden corpses? Who can say? At the end of the day, it's frustrating. We have no bodies. We only have rumors and reports. But that doesn't mean that the truth isn't out there. It's locked up in the head of a man who's serving life in prison in a California jail. To this day, Charles Manson refuses to say what actually happened at the Barker Ranch, and his true list of victims might never be known. But in the desert, sometimes the ghosts of days gone by return to tell their tale, if only we take the time to listen. I'm M.L. Behrman, and this is Mojave Mysteries. <laughs>